From the United States, Ireland, China and the Pacific, they've come to Melbourne to try their luck at Australian rules. Uh, hopefully this is the first step towards the future really and a glimpse into what you know the future draft camps are going to look like be it next year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. The NAB AFL Draft Combine tests hopefuls on everything from fitness to skills and even their personalities. Most of course are Aussies, but this year there's 10 contenders specially selected from overseas. Standing at 197 centimetres tall and weighing 105 kilograms, Eric Wallace is one of three Americans. His background is basketball. Um, I'd seen it once on television, uh, flipping through channels, uh, expecting to see maybe soccer. Uh, that's what y'all call football, we call soccer. And uh, I, I watched it and I had no idea what was going on. While America and China are seen as new frontiers, Ireland is not, with the likes of the late Jim Steins and Swans hero Ty Kennelly achieving greatness. These boys hope they can be next. After seeing greats like Ty and Jim Steins, like even reading Jim Steins' books, well, I'm sure Ty will have one soon. Yeah. <laughs> I've already, man. Oh, have you watch it? Hey, hey, it. it. <laughs> Unfinished business. Get it in there. <laughs> Similar story for you? Yeah, well, after re reading Ty's book and uh, <laughs> Jim Steins' book, it's, uh, it's great to see that people from Ireland can make the transition and become stars of the game. But some are asking why. Can Australia's game really take on the world? We're all really happy to say that this is the best game in the world, but then there are some small pockets of, of our community that want to put our, put our hands around it and don't want anyone else to A, play it or B, be good at it. You know, and, and for me it's about breaking through those paradigms and, and opening our mind to the, to the possibility. And, and if it is the best game in the world, then the best athletes from around the world should be playing it and also be given the opportunity to play it. Recruiters and scouts from the 18 AFL clubs are taking a cautious approach. You've got to start somewhere and, and, um, and, and the, as much as we can open, open up our market across other countries, we're uh, very supportive of that. But for these potential stars, the chance to come to Australia and try something completely different is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They're courageous. Um, it's an testament to their, you know, their courage, their, uh, you know, their mental aspect of you know, playing a game with no pads and you know, putting themselves on the line. But uh, it's a sport that any man would, you know, with the competitiveness would want to play. You know, you've only got to close your eyes and think about a future where, you know, we had a big, powerful American athlete out of a, a, a country with 360 million people running out onto the MCG. It's not going to happen overnight, but this is another step in sharing Australia's game with the rest of the planet.